Rain, rain, go away. It's a winter season, guys. Hi, right, guys. If you are new here or don't know who I am, this is Prajesh here, and you have been tuned into Bullet Diaries. Let's get started. All my people just be rolling up on this spot. Cause this spot's the hottest spot up on this block. All my people just be rolling up on this spot. Cause this spot's the hottest spot up on this block. <laughs> Hmm, the traffic, the great traffic signal, come on, there should be some way, come on, yaar. Woo, woo, woo. No, 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 I did not cross the red signal, it was yellow. So, yep. Good morning all of you, hope everything is good, everything's fine and uh, I'm on my way to my office, one of the busiest junction, whoever is in Bangalore, they know that the Silk Road Junction and I have decided to take this route because uh, it's really boring to take that twist and turn route and the roads are not so good as well but here if you come you will get uh, traffic jams now let us keep that pineapple jam and traffic jam aside and go to the topic so as you can see in the title that it's regarding the brake shoe what has happened is uh, uh, we can say around three or four weeks ago i was getting this uh, rubbing sound from the drum brake yes from the brake shoe side i mean uh, from the rear brake side there was a rubbing sound like when you brake from a uh, for an example the bus when it breaks it is it will be like uh, a very bassy and uh, a bigger sound so some somewhere uh, similar to that I was getting a sound and uh, I thought that maybe my brake shoe is worn out and it was uh, hardly a thousand kilometers old so I just decided to show my uh, bike to house of bulls yeah that's my regular place where I go and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions that uh, where is house of bulls so this time with the video itself uh, I'll be sharing the Google Maps uh, coordinates with in the description as well as their phone numbers one is Mr. Thomas second one is Mr. Vijay so whoever preferable whoever is free you can go and uh, probably show your bikes or uh, get it rectified if there is any issues so yeah coming to the problem so I went there and unfortunately I was not having an action camera when this happened so what I did is I had uh, done the shooting using the mobile camera and uh, you can just see that what is the operation done by Mr. Arun who is there as well who is a technician there and engineer uh, we can say a junior mechanic in the sense of age but he is having a lot of experience so you can just see that what was the operations there and uh, we can come back for a conclusion let's go there so good morning all this bullet is here and uh, i am with mr arun there is some problem with my brake shoe i mean not the brake shoe the thing is there is sound coming when i'm when i'm pushing the brake little hard so they are going to inspect that whether my brake drum has gone or the brake shoe has gone. They are now going to remove it and uh, let's find out. So this is the condition of my brake drum. So you can see that uh, it is slipping. And uh, over here, this has become almost shiny. It's pretty hot now. I don't know what they are going to do. Let us see. Now they are cleaning it in petrol. Most of the parts and
So the thing is, uh, he has actually used the emery paper. How much grade emery paper? Four hundred. Ah? Three hundred. Huh? Three hundred. Three hundred grade emery paper he had used, and uh, he has done the scraping inside the drum. Now he's refixing it. Uh, as you might have seen that he had rubbed uh, rubbed the brake shoe also on the cement area. There was there uh, was roughness available. So that the brake, whatever the slippery you have made, have seen the shiny portion. It has changed to the stock. The roughness is retained, so that you will have better grip when you are braking. And now we are fixing it. So yeah. So that is what the operation what he had done. And uh, similarly, whenever there is a sound from the dumb brake. It is not always necessarily that uh, the brake shoe is worn out or it is not usable at all. There may be some chances that because of your the sprocket inside is very much uh, smooth or worn out, that is the reason it creates such kind of a noise uh, even though the brake shoe is new. Now after that operation, my brake shoe is working fine and uh, it's been almost, uh, I can say, uh, 2600 to 2700 kilometers after that rectification has been done and uh, I am quite happy with it so that was uh, Royal Enfield tip of the week number 13 and I uh, hope it might have helped many of you people out there who is new to Royal Enfield whatever tips I am giving it's it's basically for the new owners and uh, the older owners they are already capable and more knowledgeable than me. It is for the all new Royal Enfield enthusiast as well as this particular tip can be used by anyone who is having a drum brake bike, especially without a disc brake on behind so that uh, they can also utilize this tip over there. Hope you guys might have liked it. If yes, definitely hit the thumbs up button over there down. And uh, if at all you are new to my channel or you are come first time, you can definitely go to my channel page and uh, see the playlist over there, whatever you like. And if you think that uh, it is worth giving a sub, then definitely hit the subscribe button and uh, stay updated for new videos. And uh, guys, I'm really sorry that uh, I might not be replying to you on the Facebook page or on the YouTube channels. Because I am really really occupied uh, in my home as well as in my office and uh, if there is any kind of request or any topics to for me to cover or if you have any kind of suggestions definitely write to me on uh, bullet diaries 2k16 at the rate gmail.com where I will be viewing your emails and very soon I'll be coming up with blogs and uh, tips and tricks and whatever questions you have been asked i will be answering them one by one because it's never ever happening that i'm i'm consolidating the questions i have taken the printouts as well but i'm unfortunately not able to answer that so that's uh, that's been pending from long time and one more important thing guys i'm seeing that uh, the views are dropping for the uh, tip of the week so i guess you guys are not getting the updates uh, if at all you have your friends or somebody who has subscribed to my channel, please ask them whether it is a PC or the mobile phone to click that ring button over there, that ring symbol. I'll be just showing you in the picture. So this ring button, if you click, it will turn dark. And uh, once it turns dark, you will be getting my updates uh, on priority so that you will not miss my tip of the week. And by the time this video will be up, you guys will be already enjoying your weekend and... Uh, it's my marriage anniversary that is 4th of December on Sunday and we are celebrating it on Saturday evening so that uh, I'll get one more extra day for uh, maybe I can say at home so that's all guys take care have a great day ride safe be safe and uh, I'll be back to you soon bye bye